growth. They were looking at microbacteria, specifically microorganism known as bacterium tuberculosis, microbacterium tuberculosis. It's a major human, human disease which affects healthy people and also people who have got issues of AIDS, multiple drug resistance, chronic disease, and undergoing prolonged treatment. Characteristics is that they are slender rods, they resist staining, unless it's acid fast bacilli, they respond to that. It's aerobic, non motile, non sporing, non capsulated. Growth generally slow and obligate parasites. So they do resist staining, but they are known as acid fast bacilli, so they'll respond to specific acid type stains. They're also known as saprophytes, these characteristics of these uh, microbacteriums. So, microbacterial speculosis is one of the most serious infectious diseases in the developing world. One third of the world's population is infected with microbacterium tuberculosis. 30 million people have an active disease. 9 million new cases occur each year. 3 million people die of the disease each year. So, the morphology is, is use the zeal Nielsen stain. Once sustained by carbon fusion, it resists decolorization by 20% sulfuric acid and absolute alcohol. And it's acid and alcohol fast. Fluorescent dyes like oramine O or rhodamine also stain and dehydration is resistance. So the reason for acid and alcohol fastness is presence of unsulfonifiable vats mycolic acid, semi-permeable membrane around the cell and property of cell wall and related density to the cell wall. Staining can be uniform or granular. The cultural characteristics is that it grows slowly and has a generation time 14 to 15 hours. Colonies appear after two weeks or at six to eight weeks and it is known as an obligate aerobe. It grows more luxuriantly than M. bovis. An addition of 0.5 glycerol supports growth of human strains. No effect or inhibitory effect on the on bovine strains. Just to touch upon the microbacterial tuberculosis, it is known as eugenic, whereas microbacterium bovis is dysgenic. So, solid media to use for culturing. You can use Lewinstein Jensen medium, Petrogenium medium, Dosset. Blood containing can be tarsi, serum containing is low flow serum slope, patino containing is pyrolauskis. For liquid media, you can use Dubos, Middlebrooks, Pristone, Betts, Schuller, and Soutons. So it's not specifically resistant to heat, 60 degrees at in 320 minute cycles can destroy the bacteria, and sputum can survive 20 to 30 hours. It is relatively resistant to disinfectants and survives exposure to 5% phenol, 15% sulfuric acid. 3% nitric acid, 5% oxalic acid, and 4% sodium hydroxide. For biochemical reaction, you can use niacin tests. So, human microbacterium tuberculosis produces niacin when grown in the egg medium. You can also use the arosulfurase test. So, enzyme arosulfurase is formed by only an atypical microbacteria. You can use the neutral red test. So, virulent strains of tobacco bacilli bind neutral red, red, and alkaline solution, while avalent strains do not. Another test you can use is the catalase peroxidase test. So most atypical microbacteria are strongly catalase positive, while microbacterium tuberculosis is weak positive. Microbacterium is tuberculosis is strongly peroxidase positive, while atypical microbacteria are negative. Nitrate reduction test, so positive in microbacterium tuberculosis and negative in microbacterium bovis. So here's a diagram on the right hand side of the morphology. You can see the straight or slightly curved rods. So the modes of infection are droplet infection, infection of milk, and contamination of aberration. For pesticide and pesticide by inhalation aerosols, this is droplet infection, and this occurs in microbacterial tuberculosis, also result in pulmonary tuberculosis. For ingestion of milk, this results in via infected cattle, and this is caused by microbacterium bovis, resulting in test intestinal tuberculosis, and contamination of aberration, laboratory work of skin infection. So how does microbacterium uh, tuberculosis work? It infects the lungs, it is distributed within the macrophages, it is known as a facultative intracellular pathogen, meaning it inhibits phagosome lysosome fusion and resists lysosomal enzymes. So other factors, other pathogenic factors include myobactin, which is a sidrophore, and a cord factor which damages mitochondria. Infiltration of macrophages and lymphocytes can occur, and also presence of granulomas in tubercles. So here's a diagram showing a classical tubercular lesion, a granuloma of typical lanyon-like giant cells, epithelioid cells, lymphocytes and fibrosis. 
The symptoms for an intranatal picture would be low grade fever, weight loss, night sweats, fatigue, cough, and hemolysis. So, how do you diagnose it? Acid bas fast bacteria and sputum, culture on Lovain St. Johnson media, biochemical identification, antibiotic sensitivity test, tuberculin test, and PCR test. So, Lovain St. Johnson medium. It is selective, it is always in a screw cap bottle and it is bluish green. It contains egg protein solidifying agents such as mineral salts, magnesium sulfate, magnesium citrate, asparagine, malachite green is a selective agent and it is sterilised by inspecification. So, skin testing, there is delayed hypersensitivity, tuberculin, protein purified derivative and X-rays. So for a delayed hypersensitive skin test, the assay this shows cell immediate immunity to tuberculosis and bacillins. So the material you would need is a purified protein derivative, a 0.1 dose of PPD is injected into demily, and a positive test is designed as in duration equal to or greater than 10 minutes, and it develops at least 40 hours to 72 hours after injection. So a positive skin test indicates exposure to bacterial tuberculosis but does not indicate active disease. Test. A positive test indicates previous exposure and carriage of tuberculosis. A negative tuberculin test excludes infection and suspected people. Tuberculin positive people may develop reactivation types of tuberculous tuberculosis. So tuberculin neg negative people are at risk of getting new infections. False positive reactions mainly occur due to infection of non-tuberculosis microbacteria. False negatives can be occurring due to severe tuberculosis infection. Hodgkin's disease, corticosteroid therapy, malnutrition and AIDS. And where there are children with below 5 years of age of no exposure to a positive test must be regarded as suspicious. So for laboratory diagnosis, demonstration of bacilli, culture and isolation or animal inoculation, inoculation demonstration of hypersensitivity to molecular protein and serological tests is limited value. So according to the site of infection, such as sputum, urine, bloody fluids, gastric lavage, blood tissue biopsy, specimens need appropriate processing. So for sputum, it's liquefaction of N-acetyl-L-cysteine and, and decontamination of sodium hydroxide and sensitive purgation. So for di diagnosis of pulmonary TB, you get the specimen, sputum early morning, if scanty, 24 hours, three consecutive day samples, Laryngeal swabs of gastric lavage in children. During microscopy, you should see at least 100 fuel for 10 minutes, and there's a grading system in place, as you can see here on the screen, for a grading system 1 to 3.9 bacilli in the entire smear, 2 to 3 to 10 in the entire smear, 3 to 10 in bacilli in measuring fields, culture, antibiotic sensitivity, and animal inoculations. So the animal of choice is that guinea pig. For extra pulmonary tuberculosis, you can have cerebrospinal fluid and suspected meningitis, pleural fluid and other exudates, two to three days urine and renal tuberculosis and a biopsy. So methods include Petrov's methods and these are useful for microscopy, culture and animal inoculation. So Petrov's methods is most likely used. So you have equal volumes of sputum and 4% sodium hydroxide incubated at 37 degrees for 20 minutes. Centrifuged at 3000 RPM for 30 minutes, sediment neutralized by 1 in 10 hydrochloric acid, can be used for smear, culture, and, and animal inoculation. So, the simpler method to avoid intensive centrifugation and neutralization is to have equal volumes of sputum and solution of cetimonium bromide 20 grams and sodium hydroxide 40 grams 1 litre. This will be allowed to stand for 5 minutes and inoculate the acid buffered LJ medium with swab. So, this bacterium does grow very slowly, takes several weeks, does form non pigmented colonies, and does produce niacin, which differentiates it from other mycobacteria. So, polymerase chain reaction does provide rapid diagnosis for tuberculosis. And for pathogenesis, inhalation of the tubercular bacilli, they multiply in the alveolar macrophages, and early tubercular granuloma is formed. So lesions, healing or progression of infection depend upon dose of infected microbacteria, resistance and hypersensitivity of the host and the virulence. Glycolipids on the outer surface of bacteria enhance granuloma formation, inhibit migration of polymorphic nucleosides 
and help survive of tobacco bacilli inside the macrophages. For primary infection, an exudative lesion spreads to regional lymph nodes. A scar of healing may later calcify. Lymph nodes secede and then calcify. Bacilli and lesions slowly die. Tuberculin test becomes positive and the person becomes immune and hypersensitive. For the reactivation type B, activation of tuberculosis bacilli due to immunity, formation of tubercules that secede from resulting fibrosis, opening in a bronchus, open tuberculosis, and tubercular bacilli erode a blood vessels and infect any organ. This is known as malaria tuberculosis. Before the treatment, there's chemophrophylaxis. So, and the drugs used are rifampancin, isozonazide, is bactericidal, prezanamide, septomycin, ifambrutol, ifanamide, thiacetazone, bacteriostat, which is bacteriostatic, and paramosanatic acid and cyclosterine. So short term chemotherapy of six months is sufficient. The problem area is where development of resistance by mutant selection. So the solution is this is treatment by two to three drug combinations, which is added with pre as you use multiple drug therapies to prevent emergency resistant mutants. So the treatment is a long duration, 6 to 18 months. Four drugs are usually started initial therapy due to intercellular location of bacilli, slow growth rate of bacilli, cases material blocks the penetration of drugs, and some bacilli persists in a metabolically inactive state. The sputum becomes non-effective two to three weeks after starting therapy. So first line drugs used are isoenazide, ifampancin, pyrazinamide, ifambutamol and streptomycin. Second line drugs which are more toxic and less effective are canamycin, capriomycin, cyclosarin, ifeonamide, ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin. And if there's non-compilance failure to complete the course, that would result in directly observed therapy and health care workers to observe the modification. Looking at immunoprophylaxis, so this is intertermal injection of live attenuated vaccine, by simple calmeldurin, BCG vaccine. The strain itself causes limited lesion and induces hypersensitivity immunity. This converts tuberculin negative people to positive reactors, and immunity lasts for 10 to 15 years, and immunity is 60 to 80%. So the BCG vaccine is given at birth for tuberculin testing. It protects against tuberculosis, the disease that runs mild or close and protected. And protection people prevents lethal meningeal and miliary forms. It was also found useful in leprosy, leukemias, and other malignancies by non specific stimulation of the renal endocrine system.